Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content in this channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. If you like hearing about the Baltimore Ravens, NFL talk, football talk, things like that, you should go definitely hit that subscribe button. So today, the Ravens play their final preseason game versus the Commanders. And, you know, usually I bring you guys some players to look out for and things like that. But today I want to just give some overarching themes just to, or to look out for tonight, you know, while, while we're watching the game. Um... Now, one of the first thing I want to do is talk about the offense. Look, look out for the offense. Look at what kind of formations they're in. Look at what kind of plays are running out that formation, and look at the overall spacing that's, that's out there. Right? See if you see them things that are different. Now, what they do in this third preseason game might not have any bearing on what they do when the regular season comes, and we all know that. But it's the simple fact that the Ravens do three for three games in a row. They run a lot of traditional shotgun. A lot of um, under center offense. We're probably going to see some of that in the regular season. You know, I just can't imagine that they'll, they'll do something for three weeks in a row and then scrap the whole thing when the regular season comes. Now, I still expect the Ravens' base offense to be, you know, around the pistol and Pat Ricard in the game and things like that. Uh, but they are showing some different kind of things right now in the regular season. I mean, in the preseason. So, Maybe some little things will transfer over. Maybe they won't. But keep an eye out on it and look out for that and see what, see if you notice some different things and then, you know, come come tell me and we'll, we'll talk about it, right? Uh, the second thing, it, it goes in line with the offense. Ravens wide receivers. The Ravens have four set wide receivers. You know, there's, there, there's nothing going to happen to those guys, right? Bateman, Demarcus Robinson, James Prochet, Devin DuVernay. Okay, those guys are set. Ravens will probably carry five wide receivers. So there are three guys that I'm looking out for tonight. And it's the same three guys that's been prominent throughout this whole offseason period, okay? That is Shamar Bridges, Makai Polk, Tylen Wallace. Now, Tylen Wallace came back to the practice field this week, and he has the leg up because he was the fourth-round pick last year. It's hard to imagine the Ravens cutting a fourth-round pick from a year ago. But he has not had a promising training camp, and he needs to step it up. Shamar Bridges had a great game one versus Tennessee. He was quiet in game two. Shamar Bridges, on the other hand, was kind of solid in both games. I think Tennessee, he had like six for 43. And um, in the Cardinals game, he had a little bit less than that. So those three guys have been the three guys I've said that I've noticed throughout both games. Now, another guy I've noticed is also a Riley Webb, but I feel like – He's not the type of receiver that Ravens are looking for. He's more of a, just a traditional slot guy. While these other three guys can play inside and out, you know, I can imagine, well, Shamar Bridge is probably moving X, but Makai Polk and Tylen Wallace in particular can both play inside and out. Um, So, yeah, so Ravens wide receivers, look out who's having a strong game because that could help these guys out. So, like, if Shamar Bridges or Makai Polk significantly outperform a guy like Tylen Wallace, the Ravens have a decision on their hands. Now, Tyler Wallace, like I said, he still has the leg up in the competition. Being a draft pick holds a lot of weight. It does. It just does. So we'll see if that's a benefit to him and that, you know, with that draft position, he holds down that spot. All right. Um, that's something I'm definitely looking out for tonight as, we, as I uh, watch the game. Now, another thing I want, want you guys to look out for. This is kind of this is for both sides of the ball. Look who's not playing tonight, right? So when the Ravens announce, you know, or if you follow any of the Ravens reporters on Twitter or who, wherever, see who's not playing, because that will give you an idea of if they made the if they made the roster. Nine times out of ten, it's the last piece of the game, you're not going to play anybody that's considered a starter. So for example, right, the Ravens have a left guard competition going going on, right? So now I'm not expecting him not to play, but say if a guy like Ben Powers all of a sudden doesn't play tonight. That would, to me, that would be one of two things. He's won the left guard job, or two, you know, he's, he's going to be traded. They, they don't want him to get hurt in the game. So, but a guy like that's not playing. Watch out for that. So, like, another example, like, Justin Tucker won't play tonight. Obviously, Justin Tucker's, you know, the greatest kicker, but, you know, just an example. Justin Tucker's not playing tonight. The Ravens signed a um, a punter. I think his name's, like, Cameron Dicker or something like that. Dicken, something like that. Okay. Which means Jordan Stout will take over the kicking duties tonight, and, you know, the, the other guy, Cameron, will he will punt the ball. Right, so look out for who's not playing because that would give you an idea. Like, oh, they're not playing that guy. Okay, he's probably on the team. So like, um, a guy like a Broderick Washington, right? You know, he if he doesn't play tonight, he's probably on the team. You know, so watch out for who's not playing because that that would give you a little hint about whether this guy is safe or the Ravens view that guy is safe and, and, and on the roster. Honestly, 
Now, last thing I want to tell you guys to look out for is the secondary. Now, the secondary, I think, has been it's been up and down in this preseason, right? Now, what I've noticed is from a safety position, some missed tackles back there. So watch out for Kyle Hamilton. Watch out for Tony Jefferson. Well, we'll see how much Kyle Hamilton plays, but I figure he will probably play some tonight. But watch out for Kyle Hamilton. Watch out for Tony Jefferson. See if they're wrapping up. All right. Look out for our Darius Washington because he played really well versus the Cardinals. And I don't know if the Ravens keep 12 DBs. They might only keep, to my, in my opinion, they keep 11 just because of how deep they are and talented at that position. Some people think they keep 10, but I, I can't imagine cutting two of those guys. I can imagine only cutting one uh, back there. So, all right, um, I said before that I thought Tony Jefferson was a guy that was a lock. And he might not be. I mean, when I look at Tony Jefferson's plan in the preseason, when I look at it just honestly, he's missed a lot of tackles, and he's been he's been okay. He's been okay. He hasn't been great. Now, if Aldarius Washington can outplay Tony Jefferson – they, there may be a discussion of whether or not he makes the team. I don't know. I think Tony Jefferson is on the team, but I think he has to have a good game tonight. I really do, honestly. Listen, we love Tony Jefferson, but we got to remember, he came after last year being cut from the 49ers, and this was kind of like his last chance, and he played well. He played well last season. You know, He's one of the guys when the Ravens were really struggling in the secondary that helped them out, all right? And not that he changed the overwatching game on the secondary, but he, he played hard and he held the Ravens hard at the end of the season. That doesn't guarantee his spot for this year. It just doesn't. You know, especially when you got a guy who was younger and very, very talented in our Darius Washington. So those are the things that I will look out for tonight. Look out for who's not playing. Look at the offense. See if you recognize anything differently. Look at the Ravens wide receivers, in particular, Mikai Polk, Shamar Bridges, and uh, Tylen Wallace. And then, um, lastly, you know, watch the secondary. Watch the secondary. See if Tony Jefferson's out there. If he is, watch how he plays. See how Darius Washington. See how he plays. Because the Ravens are going to have some tough, tough decisions when it comes down to uh, cutting down that roster. All right? I think they got to make the final 53 cuts by this upcoming Tuesday. So, on Monday, I'll probably do a, you know, Ravens 53-man prediction. Just give my opinion. You know, you guys can agree or disagree with it and you know we'll, we'll talk about it in the comments man all right so that's those are some things to watch out for uh it's your boy gabriel this one's a fan tv i'm out